I got my tank back from paint, but you guys aren't going to see it till I get the bike back together. But this is what I started out to do in the beginning of this project. All I wanted to do was take the uh, speedometer and the uh, tack off the handlebars. I didn't like the way it looked. It looked like Mickey Mouse ears. So I got myself a white light tank so I can get the speedometer on the tank. So I took the uh, pump, the fuel pump. Here's the fuel pump. And the uh, sending unit. Out of the uh, out of the tank, and uh, sent it out to paint. So they did their thing to it, and now I'm going to put it back together, and I'm going to just make a video here on how to uh, put the pump back in and uh, and connect the wiring and everything else. And here's the, this is the first thing I'm going to put back in, is the uh, quick disconnect fuel line. So uh, I'm going to set it up so I can show you guys how it's done. The first thing we have to do is put the uh, fuel line inside the tank. That's connected to the, uh, the quick disconnect. So you stick in a hole here. Line it up. The threads will okay. Got it started. is turning inside the tank. I'm going slow so I don't slip and scratch the new paint job. Alright, one more time, good luck. Okay, now when we come back, we'll put the pump back in. Okay, we're going to put the fuel pump back in. You take the fuel pump, you put it in left side of your tank and when you get it in you turn it counterclockwise and it should drop right in there Slide a little forward, slide a little 
Those are these locking tabs here. Push them in to the locks. Here's a click. All right. And here's your fuel line. Okay, it's in. And the next thing we're going to put in is the sending unit. It goes to the other side of the tank. There it goes. So now we got the sending unit, the fuel pump, fuel line. The, the wiring. Now another reason why I I did the conversion because I wanted the key on the console instead of underneath the seat on the old fours. The ignition is switches underneath the seat or on the side of the seat, and I didn't like that look, so that's the reason why. Reason why I uh, wanted the conversion. So well, here's this cable, and you have a little right here. You put this in there like this. It holds it in place. Now here's the gasket. Gasoline like this. Line up the holes. And then uh, you get your top plate. This is the top plate. This you see the four holes here. You see this here. Okay. That's in. Gauge, get all those plugged in here, and then here's your vent line. So carefully stick it in there so you don't scratch your paint. Now that we have the uh, top plate back on, 
I'm going to put the uh, ceiling screws. Here's a ceiling screw. And I say in the uh, manual to put new ones in. I guess the sealer is in here. You can't use them twice. Started. Okay, screws are in. So all the time I was <clears throat> thinking just to do the uh, tank conversion, I ended up doing this full custom job on this bike. Okay, here's one. Okay, let's get back on the bike, finally. Alright boys and girls, this is what started my whole Dyna project. I wanted to uh, get rid of the speedometer and tack on the uh, handlebars. So I got a white light tank and a white light console. And also I wanted to get rid of the um, ignition switch on the side over by the below the seat so the white light console works perfect it has the uh, it has the, the speedometer in the console and also the um, ignition switch so here if you saw my uh, earlier videos I made some pigtails here so I could utilize the wiring from the uh, 
my old tachometer and speedometer and also here's the uh, indicator lamp module that you can get to fit on this console so I rewired it all up uh, here you see I, I kept the uh, this is the speedometer plug and this is the tachometer plug I saved this because someday I might want to put a tack on so I'll have all the wiring here I was just connected to the tack so now I'm going to take it and put it on the tank. Here's what it looks like from the front. Ignition switch, brand new speedometer. And uh, all right, let's get going. Yeah, I'm setting this up here all by myself again as usual. So I have to set the camera up. And get a little closer. Alright. Let's go check this tank a little better. Got a brand new paint job, you guys can't see it yet. So I'm done. The rest of the bike, my project here. Alright, so you see, here's the plug that goes to the main harness. the main harness and also here's the wiring for the ignition switch and all I have to do is just put it right in here so let's do it now okay take it and this connect this plug here I don't know if you can see it on the okay here to click now and carefully move it over here Okay, there we have it. Okay, let's see if the lights all work. Okay, signals, high low beam. Signals of right. Okay.
Schwert. Okay, we're going to put the um, fuel gauge in first. So here's the end of the cable, the three wires. See the hole here? We can slip it through the hole here. You okay, know, you have this hole goes through the tank all the way to the bottom. And then the wires come through it. And after you put it through it, then there's a, there's a plug that came with the kit. And I'll show you that as soon as we put the uh, gauge in here. Okay, so here's the gauge. And what we do is push down until you hear a click and it'll pop out. Okay, so now the gauge itself is out and this is how you uh, this part in there okay as you can see there's a hole here and right here you'll see there's two little tabs here with a narrow space in there and you look on this side and you see there's one with a wider space between those two tabs. Okay, so what you have to do is line this up. Here's the narrow tab and there's the wide tab. So what you have to do here line up line up this narrow line up this narrow tab here and slide the the gauge housing in like so you okay, see it's in there. Okay, now you have the housing in. Hold the tank. And what you do is slide. Okay, what I'm doing here is these screws here are, have to be loose. Ok, 
Okay, line up that tab again. All right, this time it's in. Okay, so now that it's in, take this. Take one of the screws and turn this in there. Now it's locked. See, it's unlocked. Now the housing's locked. And what happens is when you turn it, there's a recess. There's a recess right there, you see it? That the screw screws into. And while you're screwing it, the ring here is going flush, will be brought down flush to the tank. Sorry about that, I'm hiding it. Okay, you can feel now, see the ring is flush with the tank now. Just tighten it enough to be tight, don't over tighten it because you're tightening the screws into a plastic into plastic so if you over tighten it you'll strip the screw Okay You can see how it's all nice and flush here now we're going to take the gauge itself, put the wires in there, oh, let me show you something. Well you see this, these little, little notches here, you have the same Right here, see that? Right there. So what you have to do is uh, line the gauge with those same notches, and if you if you don't have them lined up, it's not going to uh, it's not going to go in. So you really can't make a mistake. And what you're going to do is now you're going to slide it in there, push it in to you hear a click, and there it is. It's locked in. There's a little grease, there's a little grease in there. I'm going to take it off later. I'll clean it up. And that's all there is. Now I'm going to go down underneath the tank and show you how to... Uh, Do the plug part. Okay, we're underneath the tank. The wires are in the bottom here. Now here we have three wires. We have an orange, black, and yellow. And we have they came with the kit a plug. This is the locking tab. The locking tab is on the bottom. Okay. So, what you're going to do with the locking tab on the bottom, you will put the wires into the right hole. There's four holes, there's only three wires, you're going to have one empty one. So, your first, this is, so you're going to start from right to left. This is number one, two, three, four. But this one is going to be empty, so you're going to have one, two, three. Number three is at the end. So the first hole, you put the orange wire in, and put the orange wire in. So, OK, 
Okay. And then number two is the yellow. Then I'm going to like until you hear a click. Uh, here we go. That's it. And then the third one is the black. And it goes at the very end. You skip one hole and you put it in. Okay. It's together. Let me show you. Okay, right there you see the pins. The pins in there. You gotta make sure you go through that little, those little holes down there. And it'll slip right in. Okay, and then when you're done, take your locking tab. And you hear a click and lock the wires in and you hit there you have it. Get a position here. Can you see the plug? Right there. Okay, what you're gonna do is just plug this in like so. And there you have it. You hit a click. And what you can do is just put it in there. You just find a place to lay the wire back in underneath the tank. And there you have it. The uh, gauge is in the tank and the wires are plugged in. So now when I come back I'll put the gas cap in. Let's check and see if the uh, fuel gauge is working. Tank is empty. Cool. Try it again. All right. Now we're going to put the uh, gas cap It's not hard to just twist it. Put the normal gas cap and just push it in and turn it or a turn and your gas caps in. What we're doing here is to put the ring the ring to make make it flush. Now this is the ring and this is the front this is the front of the ring Right here with this little tab, this is where the, you pull this off and you'll have the sticky part that will stick under your tank. So before you, you put this in here, you just clean it around here with rubbing alcohol. And uh, this little piece faces forward and just push gently on there and see if it all goes down to the tank. If you have too much space, you can turn a little bit at a time. And this is a lot less. And when you put it in there, Make sure you center, eyeball the uh, space between the cap and your ring. Make sure this 
base is basically pretty even. Like I said, now I it seems like there's a lot less space between the tank and the the space now between the uh, ring and the tank just move it just slightly over and what you do here now you put tape right there All right. So what you're going to do is very carefully cut your tape. And lift the ring. So what you're going to do now, you're going to pull you're going to pull this off like so. And now you got the, the glue end on there. It's going to stick to your tank. And what you're going to do is you're going to this on here and line up the lines of your tape that you put on there and Try it again. Oh, a little off here. Push down. Okay, let's take the tape off. There you have it. Okay, everything's nice and snug. Put your cat back in, turn it.
Mm. All right, now we have the gas cap in the gauge. So we're getting close now to the end here. Till later.